does not feel pain. What? That's right. You could break his arm, poke him with needles, or even hold his hand above fire, and he would not feel a thing. He is one of only 300 people on the entire planet who are like this. Who is he? Why can't he feel pain? And what does he do when he gets a cut? In Washington, USA, I found Stephen Pete. Hi, Naz Daily. I'm Stephen Pete. I was born with CIP. Stephen was born with a very rare condition called congenital insensitivity to pain, or CIP. CIP is extremely rare. Only one in 125 million babies are born with this condition. When Stephen was a kid, his parents noticed something weird about him. They saw that when he was teething, he would bite his tongue like all the other kids. But unlike all the other kids, he didn't stop biting it when it started to bleed. So they took him to a hospital where doctors did some tests. They poked him with needles and even held a lighter next to his little foot. And every time Stephen's skin bled and blistered, he was smiling and calm because he could not feel the pain. Back then, nobody knew about my condition. Doctors predicted I wouldn't live past 7, 11, or 15 years of age. That's why when Stephen was growing up, he was reckless. He would jump from high places, push dares to the extreme, and do really dangerous stunts on his bike, all because he knew nothing could hurt him. My 25th birthday, so it was a good night. Well, it was supposed to be a good night. I like, just slammed my foot like right into the wooden beam in the kitchen. And then I woke up like three o'clock in the morning, and that's when I noticed my foot was like just swollen massive, yeah. Steven has broken more than 80 bones in the 40 years he's been alive. And over the years, he's realized that it's a miracle he survived. The thing is, pain is your body's alarm system. When you break a bone, you immediately know and stop what you're doing to take care of the injury. But Steven's body is a house without an alarm system. I don't even have a sense of smell because of CIP. There was an instance where a friend got into my car and they told me to smell gas. gas. That's why so many kids around the world with this condition don't survive. Because they don't feel pain, they don't know when to stop. But Steven wants people to know that having CIP doesn't have to be the end. And he uses his social media to do just that. People need to know that having CIP doesn't mean you're doomed. In fact, you can still live a long life. I use social media to find other people throughout the world with similar conditions to mine. And to let them know that like myself, I don't allow the condition to define who I am. Steven's story has given me a new appreciation for pain. Even though it hurts, it's uncomfortable, it's annoying, it's actually what's keeping you alive. So maybe instead of cursing it, we should be thankful that we can all feel it.